Hello, I'm Jay Amenta, and I'm going to read a brief extract from my novel, Castles from Cobwebs. Mother pulls the bed covers over me and opens the book, Tales from Africa and Other Exotic Lands. It is a heavy, dark red leather book with a lot of little wrinkles on the cover. It's my favourite. The other sisters read biblical tales like Jonah and the Whale or Noah and the Ark to me. Sister Alma and Sister Maria sometimes read fairy stories like Alice in Wonderland and Sleeping Beauty. Mother is the only one who reads to me from this book. When Mother finishes a story about Anansi the Spider-Man, I beg her to read another. I hug her waist and listen to her voice. I'm scared and happy. Part of me wants the moment to come now, but something about it also makes me shy. Tonight, I'm telling Mother about Amory. The sisters always said I was a gift from God. Reverend Mother said I had a divine purpose and it would one day be revealed. Amory is proof of that. She's a holy being sent by God to guide me. When Mother finishes the story, she kisses the top of my head and is about to stand. There's something I need to tell you, I say. No more stories, Mother says, getting up. It's late. I've been sent a Holy Spirit. Mother looks confused. God sent me a Holy Spirit, I say again, smiling up at her. What do you mean? Her name's Amory. We play together and we talk about all sorts of things. You'll like her, I know you will. The words fall out at once like a handful of marbles dropped on the floor. There she is. I point at the door where the shadow of a girl stands. She's holding her hands together and crossing one leg behind the other. Mother turns to the door and sees Amory. Her mouth falls open and she pulls me out of bed, never taking her eyes off her. You're hurting my arm, I say, trying to tug it loose. Her fingers dig into my arm even more. She crosses herself before reaching for the door. She opens it and pushes me out, out of the room, then comes out and slams the door behind her. Reverend Mother whispers something over and over. I think I hear it. She's saying, Satan, be gone. You cannot have this child. My chest hurts and a lump grows in my throat. I want to say something, to defend my friend, but the words won't come. Mother leaves me in the spare dormitory, the cell where postulants stay before taking their vows. She comes and goes, putting candles everywhere and sprinkling oil all over. I blink when the wetness hits me. She puts rosary beads in my hand and closes my fingers around them in a fist. She makes the mark of the cross on my forehead with her thumb, which is still wet with oil. She locks us both in the room. Mother tells me to take the bed by the wall, and she takes the one by the window. The candles glow, and it makes shadows in the places the light doesn't touch. I try to look for Amory without Mother noticing, but she's not anywhere. <laughs>